Hey guys, it's Ricky here. Um, I'm just going to put this back here. Uh, today's guitar lesson is a four chords axis of awesome guitar tutorial in the key of G. If you've not seen the four chords axis of awesome video, I'll bang a description in the link uh, below. Um, uh, the gist is that this is a four chord guitar lesson. I'm saying four chords a lot which is an extension to the three uh, chord uh, thing that I did the other day with G, D, and E minor. So we're adding another chord here, essentially. We're adding a C major chord. But I'm going to show you a cool way to play this. Hello, Mukhtar. How are you doing, mate? Uh, if you've not been to my channel before, hi, I'm Ricky. I'm a guitar teacher. Uh, have been for a long, long time now. A long time. Very long time a long time anyhow uh i just thought i'd pop on here and show you some of this uh, stuff here these goodies these little cool moves is what i call them um so we're going to do this in the key of g so the first thing that we're going to look at is the sequence of the um uh, axis of awesome if you want to know what it is in any major key then you've got to understand it as being chord one chord five chord six and chord four now, to add on from what we did before uh, in the other lesson with the three chords, then essentially we're adding chord four to the mix. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep these chords very, very, uh, very clean, very uh, glued in with that idea of that sticky fingered method where I had fingers three and four on there. Um, so essentially we're going to start with, the, with these sticky fingers, fingers three and four on there. And then what I'm going to do is I can play a full G like this, but I'm just going to show you, yesterday's lesson I showed you that you didn't need to play all the notes to get a full G. So essentially what I could do is take that first finger off and I mute my A string. If I mute that A string, I get a really rich sounding G5 power chord. It's a big power chord essentially is that. Um, so you can use this and it's a great kind of... Uh, um, nice rich sounding g chord it's not a g major it's a g5 like i say but if you put that finger on it works just as well but we're not going to be sticklers to uh you know uh, the the chord naming protocols we don't need that as long as it sounds good that's the only thing that matters so we've got the g and um, what we're going to do is we're going to pull down to a d chord here and i'm going to keep that suspension on that's that sus4 on and then take it off so it's up to you how you want to do that you can pick it and pull it off you can keep it on yeah then what we can do is move over to get this e minor with fingers one and two there you can hear that there and then instead of playing C in my normal sort of diagonal grip, you see that chord grip that goes in that diagonal shape, I'm going to play it so that it matches pretty much my grip that I use for the G chord. So you see that one there? If I move this down here, te technically the name of this chord is a C add 9 because we're adding the ninth onto the C chord there. But hopefully you can see that I've still got part of that C chord there. Look at those two fingers there on the third fret of the A string and the second fret of the D string there. If I switch back to this, you can see that this covers those two there and it makes up the bulk of that C chord. So this is a perfectly acceptable uh, substitution in my mind, yes. Yeah, and we'll get back onto that axis of awesome uh, four chords thing in a minute. Yeah, so this is a C here, but equally, we could change this to a C sus2. You can mute out the D string if you want. You can leave it open if you want. It's completely up to you. Or put that in if you want that extra colour. Bearing in mind that the C chord sounds very, very straight. You can hear that there. Whereas this... It's got a little bit of something else on the end of it. It's a little bit a bit kind of emotional value is kind of, oh, it's a bit misty-eyed maybe, you know. And you think about it in that way. So if it's a sad song, then obviously this makes sense to use this C add 9 to do this. C sus 2 is a little bit more stripped back and a little bit more bare, but it still works. So if we go from here, so we go from G to the D, to the E minor, 
to the C, this gives us the four chords that we need. If we're thinking of this in, uh, being the key of G, this would be chord one, the D would be chord five, the E minor would be chord six, and actually chord six is really important because that's where you play your box one minor pentatonic, guys. You know, chord six is where the goodness happens for, for that kind of stuff if you want to do lead guitar on top of it. And then to this little C sus two here, C add nine if I want it that way. I'm not playing it this way because I want this. I want this sticky fingered method here. So I've got fingers three, fingers four. They're gluing all the way throughout that there. So, right, okay. So I think that's pretty much about the gist of the lesson. We've got the G. D with the pinky on, keep the third and fourth on, E minor to this C. It's up to you what you want to do with it, right? It also, because this is from the Axis of Awesome uh, video, I'll post a link to that in the description. But also, guys, can you please do me a favor? Drop a comment in there, watch that, and see if you can translate any of these songs to this. Don't forget, don't forget as well, yes, the capo, not capo. It's a capo, not a capo. This can work, and you can change the pitch of everything. Redemption song, yes. There you go. That's one of them that I know that it works on. But look, watch the Axis of Awesome link that I will put below for the four chord. Axis of Awesome. Guitar tutorial in the key of G. That's what this lesson has been, guys. If this is your first time, please consider subscribing. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of these live lessons. I've got another four chord thing coming for you tomorrow. And this is a similar deal. So this is the same sequence, but it's a different key. So not one to be missed. You will enjoy it immensely. Uh, if you've got some value from this, please... Uh, drop a comment below, hit that like and everything else. Like, send us shooting up the algorithm, and I will see you in ne uh, tomorrow's video. In the meantime, guys, thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you soon. Stay well, stay safe. Yes, in this time. <laughs>